everybody. Welcome to the new series of this channel, ML Alleman. It is of Kinsey International Airport uh, tours. So this is going to be a complete tour of the airport uh, inside out. So let's, we're going to start today as uh, we're going to do the terminal gates and the assignments for the airlines. So here's Kansas City as a whole. Uh, the airport's going to be on the north uh, side, right there by uh, Interstate 29. And here it is right here. Just for a quick pointer, right here is the economy parking lot. Rental car area, and then here are the three terminals. Terminal A is closed right now, but terminals B and C are alive and well. But uh, the city of Kansas City is considering a uh, new airport. And on the left side, uh, occasionally you can see a list pop up. It is a list of the current gate assignments in Kansas City. Um, they're not 100% correct, obviously, because gates do change. But uh, it is a pretty accurate, um, I guess, example of the gates. So here is Terminal B right here. We're going to start off. Terminal B is gates 31 through 60. And uh, it is housed by Southwest Airlines, the biggest airline, Delta, the second biggest airline, as well as Alaska Airlines. On the airport website, it does also say that um, it is housed by Funjet Aeromexico charter flights, but um, those are, as I said, charter flights, so they do not normally have a scheduled gate. So we're going to go, um, the airport is split into different security areas since it is pre-TSA, um, pre-9-11 uh, pre times. So here's the first security area. It is of gates 31 through 45. Now what I'm going to show you is the reason why this is like this is because Southwest built a, a sky bridge, I guess you could say, connecting these two so that way when people come in different flights they can make connections to the other gates that was needed when they um, combined with AirTran and they acquired these gates over here so right here Southwest's first gates um, 32 and 33 those are the ones they normally use uh, mostly 32 but they um, do not normally use 34 and 35 because there is um, in inadequate seating around there. So it is mostly 32 and 33. Coming over here to the next side of gates, so getting connected by that sky bridge. It has 37 through 40, and then 41, 43, and 45. And the main um, security checkpoint for Southwest is right here as um, it is as I know the biggest one in the airport and uh, that's the one most people use now a nice secret if that one's really busy it's not really a secret but it's um, kind of a tip this one is a smaller over here and it is mostly used for people going to these two gates but since there is a skylink right here you can go in that one and come across through here and skip the big lines right here because southwest is the biggest airline in the airport so coming over here we have uh this small section right here gates 51 and 52. uh this is mostly used by alaska airlines uh, you could see a stray delta in here a few times, but this is mostly used by Alaska Airlines and gate B-52. And then this last section right here is used by Delta. Let's see if we can get the whole thing on the screen. And uh, so they use gate 60, 59, 58, and 57. Uh, I'm not sure why it says slash 56 right there. I have no idea. But uh, that's that right there, and that is used by Delta, the second biggest airline. So that is Terminal B right there. 
And uh, the next terminal is Terminal C. And as you know, the probably the red bus, as um, the airport calls it, connects these two terminals for connecting passengers. And it just loops through them all. And it comes about every 20 minutes. But I'm going to talk about that more on a later video. Let's go to Terminal C. Terminal C is gate 61 through 90. It is also the International Concourse. It is used by American United Air Canada as well as the low cost carriers of Frontier uh, Spirit and Allegiance. So, starting off right here, this is the first security area right here, and it's a rather large one. As you can see, it's uh, 60, it is used by Air Canada and United as they do have a coach here together. Air Canada typically uses gate 61 or 62 and sometimes United use those too. But uh, most United flights are going to be 67, 68, and 69. And as you can see right here, there is a connecting passage right here for those connections as I think the only uh, security checkpoints right here for all of these gates. Alright, moving along, this is 72 and 73. This is one of the, the uh, probably least used areas of the airport right here. Um, it is rarely used by United, but other than that, there's really nothing that normally goes by there. And uh, usually it's not staffed by um, security officers. And coming up right here, these four gates are for the low-cost carriers, mostly, of Allegiance, which is right here at gate 78, uh, Frontier at gate 77, and, uh, excuse me, yeah, Frontier at 76, and Spirit at 77, sorry. Um, American uses 79, uh, mostly in the mornings. And it has a lot of departures, and sometimes I've seen sometimes it bleeds through to 78 because Allegiant does not use that gate that often. So, those are the low cost carriers right there. And a continuation of American right here, uh, this security area 85, 84, 83, 82, and 81. Again, that is used by American, not really anything special. The thing about American is that if you are making a connection, you cannot b connect between these three security areas that they are. Um, so that is one of the um, downsides, I guess. That's why they normally use these gates right here, so that way uh, easy connections can be made. And this last part right here, this is 87 and 88. It is used by American sometimes, but it is not that busy. And uh, it is not open by the TSA that often, as you can see right there. And finally, right here, the International Gate, Gate Number 90. And that is for all international arrivals, the only international gate in Kansas City. And you can see it has all the up-to-date um, international arrival modifications of passport check right there, baggage claim, and then they'll check you one more time before you're released into the country. So here, so here it is right here. Terminal B and C. And if you want to see one last time, uh, here's the airlines at KCI list. Again, Terminal B is Southwest Alaska and Delta, as you can see right there. And uh, Air Mexico and Funja are unknown. Terminal C is Air Canada, United, uh, Frontier, Spirit, Allegiant slash American 78, and then American continues until the international gate with gate 90. Now, one last thing before we go. Um, right here, this is Seaport Airways. Uh, it is a pr in the private terminal, as you may know, it's a small, small um, airline, uses small little um, planes, and it is in a private terminal, 
I'm pretty sure the private terminal is somewhere around here, but I'm not completely sure because um, I've never been there.